Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Today I wanted to share with you a couple of beginner tips for Outward. As always with videos like these one, there might be some spoilers, so if you're trying to avoid them, now would be a good time to turn away. You've been warned, so let us begin. Always be equipped and ready for a fight. Early on in the starting area you can actually find a couple of weapons. First in you can find a mining pick, you can find a machete, and you can also find a fishing spear. After that in uh, the city you can also find a quarter stuff, a uh, felling great axe, a pitchfork, a hatchet, and another machete. Now of course you don't need all of that to fight, you only need one weapon early on, of course. Uh, if you want to practice with more of them, sure, go ahead. But otherwise you can uh, sell the ones that you think you will not need and make some extra money right away. When you're traveling out there, always have the important items at hand. You always want or need at least uh, something that's gonna help you heal, like bandages or maybe potions that's gonna help you heal. You want food and water like travel rations or cooked meat or something you want water because you will soon get thirsty and uh, well being thirsty is not good for you now is it also always carry with you a bedroll or a tent or something so you can sleep restore some of your health etc always have a light source like a lantern or maybe uh, have a torch if you don't have a lantern uh, it's a good idea to also have items like antidotes, hex cleaners, maybe some teas that are gonna help you uh, recover from maybe if you were cold you might have a common cold or maybe you have indigestion because you ate raw food. You might also uh, get some diseases from random animals if they attack you so always a good idea to have these couple of very essential items with you on hand that's gonna help you make your life easier. Not to say, of course, weapons as well. Remember what I said about spoilers? Yeah, this one is very spoilery, so be careful. Over here, you see where I came from? This is City of Sierzo, and over here, uh, this beach. This is where we're looking at. Uh, what I would advise you to do, again, spoilers, save your early money. At the start of the game, you are obliged to pay 150 silver to earn a tribal, or earn a tribal favor and uh, your debt shall be repaid and you will be able to keep your house but save your money there's this guy over here the, and this guy's over here uh, if you help him he's gonna he's gonna be fine and he's gonna tell you hey it's a, it was a tribal favor it's all okay so what can you do all you have to do is give him a bandage if you don't have a bandage well you can uh, destroy one of your clothing or more of it and uh, thusly make yourself a bandage. How? How about we destroy this? It gave us three cloth and that allows us to make a bandage. So if we talk to Michael Aberdeen again, I can give him a bandage. And he is happy. And now we have a tribal favor. We can uh, we can bring this to Risa. Risa is gonna be hey this is gonna be like hey you done a tribal favor this is amazing you don't need to pay money anymore and you're gone you're safe beautiful. In Outward, each item has weight associated with it, and you can only carry so much. Whatever you have equipped, it doesn't count towards your total weight, so it's always better to put your arrows right onto your current equipment, always have them equipped there. You can have up to 30 on you, uh, because if you have them in your pocket, well, they will add weight to it. Of course, same goes for your satchel, if it's overweight, you're gonna move slower, if your pocket is overweight, you will again move slower. So you can see on each item you can see how much it weighs and same goes for silver, it actually does have weight. So especially when you're going out there deciding to chase bandits, it might be a very good idea to actually stash it. Now you have a, uh, you have a stash in your starting area, we have it in your house, so always be going out there, might be a good idea to just store your extra silver. And any items you think you might not need, this stash has unlimited inventory space so you can just smack as much stuff in there as you think you might not need or as you think you might need at some other point and not immediately if you don't need something just sell it make some money money can buy you new skills and make you better 
On bigger backpacks than your starting one, you can actually hang your lantern from the backpack. All you have to do is put it into your backpack and it's gonna hang from the back. Now, of course, this is gonna make it go out after some time, so put it out during the daylight. All you have to do is right click it and set on put out. And if you wanna do it again, you can just light it up and that's how it works. But of course, lantern is gonna wear out and how do I fix it? So what you can do is combine it with thick oil. You go into your crafting and you can manually combine your lantern with some thick oil and then just craft. And that way it's gonna be uh, just fixing it. There you go. Now if you click on it, you can see over here it has a full bar on the right. Its durability is back to 200. After fights, you will usually need to heal your lost health because fights in this game, well, they tend to take a lot of damage from you, especially early on. So it's always a good idea to have a couple items with you that will help you heal. The most common ones are bandages. Those will immediately help you heal up uh, after a fight. If you're being hurting, if you're hurting in the middle of the fight and you think you won't be able to succeed, it's a go also a good idea to have a health potion with you. You can buy a recipe in the first town at the alchemist and then keep on making your own potions. But also, uh, if you don't, if you run out of bandages and stuff or health potions, or you know, you can just always just eat food to heal up slowly as well. You can uh, just drop down your bedroll or uh, go into town and uh, sleep at an inn or maybe your own house if you're at Sierra or if you bought any houses anywhere else. And after uh, sleeping, you will also heal up slowly. While you're traveling the world, you will often have to sleep outside, either to rest and recover your health or if you're way out in the wilderness away from any towns, you, you're just gonna have to rest occasionally. Now, uh, whenever you rest, there's a risk of ambush and you will have to guard for a certain amount of hours, depends on how long you sleep or repair, to uh, be prepared and not be ambushed. But if you find an area like this one with butterflies around, then you can just rest freely without the risk of any ambush. You just put down your back, uh, your whatever it is, tent or uh, sleeping bag. And let's see over here, if you use it, it's gonna tell you that there's zero chance of ambush while you're sleeping in this area. On your travels and in your fights, your equipment will slowly wear down and eventually even break if you don't repair it. Uh, that is uh, signified by the gray bar at the top right when you look at uh, an item over here, like this clan sage robe. You can see it's more than halfway damaged. Now you can always repair this while you sleep. So. If you sleep using a bed, you can repair. If you sleep using a bedroll, you can of course repair. But chances are, if you're out there sleeping in a tent, you will also have to guard against the ambush. So this is the best done when you're either in your own house or if you're renting a, uh, uh, a bed in an inn, then you can just safely repair w without even need to worry about anything bad happen. So you take a couple of hours just to repair your items and they will be much better than where you left them before. Enemies, same as you, have an impact bar. That is the gray bar below your character or above the enemy, below their health. If it turns yellow, it means they are blocking and that's not when you should be attacking them because they will be able to block your attacks. Although that does some damage to stamina, it is not the, best, the most effective technique. Now, if you hit them while they're not blo blocking, of course you're gonna deal damage to their health, but you will also deal damage, which is called impact damage, to their impact bar. When that bar hits below 50%, then the consequent attacks will slowly stagger them, which means that they will be slightly knocked back by each attack you deal to them, and they will need a second to recover. If, you, if that bar reaches zero, then they will be knocked down and they will basically helpless and you will be able to just stab them in the back or the neck or wherever you want. Of course, slowly they will get back up, but this is how it works. Same goes for you, they will be able to stagger you and knock you down. So beware of your impact bar as well as theirs. 
when fighting enemies dot attacks can be actually very good so any weapon that you might have that might apply bleed damage is gonna be very good uh, one of those that you can get is uh, over here in Berg you can learn uh, the blacksmith you can learn uh, Fang weapons. You can see Fang bo Fang X over here, Fang Club, and these things will actually do uh, bleed damage when you attack. You can also add poison rags to your weapons. You can add uh, rags that add extra fire damage. So anything that might make your enemies bleed out faster, or anything that is going to give you advantage in combat, is something that you should probably be using because. Uh, well, eventually enemies will also try to burn you and the burn might tick slowly while you think you're safe It's slowly gonna burn you up. So if you do that, well, you might have the advantage that they don't have This concludes the tips I had prepared for today Hope you learned something new and if you have any tips of your own feel free to share them with the community in the comments below also, if you're interested in story-rich Let's Plays, I have an Outward series running on my channel right now where I happily disregard all the tips I listed today and, well, things just don't go too peachy. Now, I do hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.